All right, guys, welcome back to another video here. I don't know what happened, but I ended up deleting the intro to this. So here's the intro right here. We got this raft that we're going to be doing a lot of trips with this year, and we'll go over that in a lot more detail later on. It does fit in the back of a full-size pickup. I do not have a full-size pickup, and uh, I think it's just easier to transport it with a trailer. So uh, what I did was look for used trailers, um, and then I found that Harbor Freight sells trailers over there, and I saw there's a lot of videos on these trailers, a lot of people you know, putting them together, showing how to do that, showing different uh, modifications, and and just ways to make them a little bit better so um, I decided to do that because I like doing that type of stuff so I went online found this trailer on Harbor Freight this is the 1700 pound version of their foldable trailer and when you get it it comes in two boxes um, and then you just bring it home in the boxes so it's a trailer in a box essentially so we brought it home and just started putting it together yeah, that's good. two sets of bearings in there you got to get them both out but I'm just taking this one out right now and cleaning it up so I can bring it to the auto store in town and I can get some new bearings because from what I understand everybody recommends the grease that they put in there first of all is not it's just for shipping purposes I guess I don't really understand that but it's not really made to be used as bearing grease I guess so uh, they said go get some real bearing grease clean these off and re-grease them and then a lot of people also said to just buy new bearings because these are junk so I'm gonna do that I'll keep these as a spare and uh, so I'm gonna just go to the go to the auto store and buy four of these what I gotta do now is because the raft is 60 60 inches wide and this is only four feet here we've got to raise up this platform so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount these two by fours on every one of those struts there and then uh, I'm actually going to make it a little bit wider too I'm make it about five and a half feet wide and then we're going to deck it with pressure treated because this thing's going to sit outside. I found that folding this up is not as easy as it should be. Um, there's a lot of bolts and stuff you have to undo. It's a pain in the ass, so I'm probably never gonna do it. So I might as well put pressure treated on the top. Let her sit outside. The wood would probably last longer than the trailer will. But uh, if it does, we'll just take the wood off and build a new one. So let me uh, figure out how I'm gonna do this. We'll get back to you. Bolted this all the way down through. Some lock nuts on there, nylock nuts. Made that five and a half feet wide. Turned it on edge, bolted it. So I'm gonna do that on every cross piece here and then uh, we'll plank it. We've taken a four foot wide trailer, turned it into a five and a half foot wide trailer. I think what I'm gonna do is do the fender delete mod and uh, get rid of those things and just plank right over the top of the wheel. It's almost right in line of that fender anyways. So we'll make sure that that fits all right. There's enough clearance, but there she be. So we'll get the wheels on there, get those fenders taken off, deck it over, and then we're gonna work on our winch that we're gonna put on the front. I got the new bearings in. They got uh, the race and everything there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grease these up, and pop these into the hubs and, and re-grease them. Then we should be, should have a moving trailer at that point. All right, well, the wheels are all on now. And uh, so I took these fenders off and that wood's gonna rest just over the top of the wheel with plenty of clearance. I might actually put these on there after and just kind of like bolt it like that just to keep some overspray off from it i got them i might as well use them so now all we gotta do is wire it up i'm gonna do that when josh gets here we'll deck it and then we'll build the roller for the back and the winch for the front and we'll be done 
one deck board short. Went to care back high school. My math wasn't too too on point, but that's what it looks like. All decked up. Alright, so we got the roller all on here. You can kind of see how we did this. I didn't film any of it, but uh, just some, some pipe pieces, galvanized pipe, bolted right through the wood here. And then we just got a PVC pipe that's a little bit bigger than the pipe on the inside, which allows it to spin. And it sits just above the back of the trailer. So when we go to put the raft on, it just rolls right on that, right onto here. I gotta just finish up this bracket for the crank that we're putting on. So I'll finish welding that up and then we'll test it and then we should be pretty much done. I'll just paint it and we'll be done. <laughs> So here is the winch mount that we welded up. It just kind of, I mean, it doesn't look all that pretty. I'm not a professional welder or anything like that, but uh, it'll go like that. We just got to paint it, obviously, and then this will sit, boom, right on there. Shorten up the handle for that. We'll be able to crank our raft on if we need to. So. Sick. All right guys, so the trailer is done. It's finally done. And uh, we'll just kind of show you what we did with it. So obviously you saw the pressure treated decking that we put on there. And I did end up putting the fenders on here. I didn't use the mounting brackets that came with it. You can see we just bolted it to the top of this wood here. And uh, you know, I don't know if that's really gonna do much, but it might keep some uh, crap off from the trailer and whatever we're hauling. Uh, we did add some of these eye bolts there just for tie down purposes. Uh, the biggest thing that I really wanted was to do this. And this was the roller for the raft because what we're going to be hauling on this is a raft primarily. And that way, you know, it's pretty heavy. We got it here uh, for one person anyways. Even with two people, we just stand on each side, get it on that roller and roll it right onto the trailer. Works really, really well. Uh, the trailer seems fairly fairly decent for what it is. One thing I did end up adding was the trailer jack, the support wheel there. Just for moving it around the garage and stuff, it'd be a lot easier. But one thing I will add is that the, the lighting did not work once we had it all wired up. I didn't even put in the marker bulb, so I just have two brake lights on the back and that's it. Uh, so it was super simple, simple wiring, but it didn't work when you plugged it in. Turns out you really have to ground those rear lights right to the trailer. Actually, I do ground to the trailer frame instead of these pins here. So, uh, and then they worked, which was fine. I welded up this bracket here. And this is for winching stuff onto the trailer, primarily the raft. And painted it red with some paint that I had. Doesn't really match, but it's not gonna matter does flip up so we left these pins in here although I'm not sure if I'm gonna leave them in there just you know bolt it on I think having the tip up feature might be might be good to have but uh, we'll try it for now see how rickety it is going down the road with that so thanks for watching guys I know this video is a little bit different but we uh, sometimes do stuff like that on this channel so uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button make sure you like this video Comment if you have this trailer and what you think of it. And we'll catch you guys out in the water in this baby pretty soon.